So let's go ahead and take a minute and wire our SC2 to a typical O-gauge switch machine. All we're going to do is connect these three wires, which I've got green to the diverging route, gray to the center common, and yellow to the straight route. So I'm going to take my gray wire and go to the center terminal on my switch machine. We're going to guess. I'm going to put yellow, which is my straight route, to number three, and green, which is my diverging route, to number one. Now, as we talked about earlier, we want to run our switches off of a constant voltage supply. So we'll bring our transformer into the equation. I'm going to connect the uh, red terminal on my transformer to my constant voltage post which will simulate a, uh, a constant voltage, uh, maybe, just a moment here, get something to grab onto. ground on my outside rail, apply power, roughly about 14 volts, and see my switch lantern comes on. Using my legacy remote, I'm going to press switch 1 and the straight button. And I obviously got it backwards because it goes to the diverging route. I'll press the diverging route or the auxiliary 2 button, and my switch machine throws straight. So because the controls on my cab 2 are backwards, all I need to do is simply flip the yellow and the green wire on the switch machine itself so that the directions on the cab match the direction of the switch. This way, when I'm controlling the switch from the other side of the room, I'll be certain I know which way it's going. So now I'm going to press switch 1 and the diverging button, or aux 2. My switch throws the out position, press aux 1, my switch throws straight. This is a typical installation on an O gauge switch. I'm going to grab an O27 switch and show you how to wire that. We have here a typical O27 remote switch with the modification that we made on an earlier video where we've modified an O27 switch to run on a constant voltage supply. We've done that by clipping the wire that goes uh, to both coils from the center rail. We've disconnected that. We've connected that coil to this wire that's exiting the switch. To connect our SC2 to our O27 switch, we take the center common wire, which in this instance is gray. We're going to connect it to the terminal closest to the uh, motor cover, which is the ground for the switch machine itself. And, again, it's a guessing game, so we'll take green to this one. And yellow to the center. And to put power to the switch, we're going to put our red terminal on our constant voltage lead. We're going to take ground and connect it to the outside rail. Apply power, roughly about 14 volts. Using our cab 2, we're going to press switch 1 because that's the terminal we're connected to and the straight button. And once again, I got them backwards. And aux 2. So to change that, we simply reverse green and yellow on the switch. Test it again, aux 2, we get the switch to throw to the diverging route, aux 1, switch throws straight. That's all it takes to wire up our 027 remote switch to an SC2.